Good morning, everyone. So indeed, I will provide some insights on the timeline and key milestones until go live this morning. If we can move to the next slide. Yes, so I said by Dimitri, the go live date of the ECMS is now uh, five months away, so almost tomorrow. And the uh, main focus for the upcoming weeks are uh, testing related activities. So we will have the restart of the functional user testing in what we call our pre-production environment uh, with all actors, so with the CSD, two-party agent, and counterparties as of 1st of July. We also have the migration testing, and here uh, Dimitri mentioned it, but uh, also to say it again, we will have soon our first uh, migration weekend dress rehearsal, so the next weekend, end of June, uh, also involving the, the actors. So this is quite a, a good milestone for, for the project. I will not enter further into details uh, related to these uh, activities uh, because my colleagues will tackle that. So I think we can move to the next slide to look at the main uh, readiness milestones that we have. Here, I would like to take the opportunity uh, to remind you that uh, today, this is the last day for the connectivity setup and execution in production environments. So I would kindly ask all the major actors, maybe who have not yet done it, to finalize their connection to this production environment uh, in the coming days. So NCBs, CSDs, counterparties, whomever has to connect, please do not wait to do it. Um, then if we look at the right side, you can see we have other uh, readiness milestones, which are not uh, testing related activities, but we have the contractual and legal adaptations completed and adaptations of operational procedures completed. So with the ECMS, this is not just uh, moving to uh, a new software, let's say. Uh, even if the ECMS, we will not alter the existing business and legal relationships that uh, exist today between counterparties and, and NCBs. Uh, still, we know all that the ECMS project has been the opportunity to do major progress in terms of harmonization. So please have a look on the legal aspects and operational adaptations uh, that you may have to do if not yet done already. And finally, on the right right side, you can see uh, the CMS go live uh, for the 18th of November. So let's make it happen. Regarding this uh, ECMS migration plan, here I would like to recall everyone that uh, even if we know that go live is in five months, mid November, uh, the work has already started in production. I already mentioned connectivity uh, setup and execution uh, ongoing until today. Uh, still, you can see we have some pre-migration activities which will start beginning of August. So it means that for us, uh, the work is really moving in production with a milestone beginning of September for which uh, we will provide um, a an assessment of the situation. So we will uh, evaluate the situation basically and we will provide all the relevant aspects uh, to, to our steering board, steering committee for that. We'll then have a key part, which is a go no go decision on the 8th of October, uh, for which we will provide all the relevant aspects to support this Governing Council go no go decision, which will be taken six weeks before the go live. I think we can go to the next slide because I mentioned this go no go decision, and I think maybe this is quite uh, useful to share a bit with you some insights about, okay, go no go criteria, what are we looking at? Uh, we mentioned a lot of testing because this is really the focus for which uh, we are expecting you to take part of, of those activities. But nevertheless, uh, we have more than 13 go no go criteria uh, listed today. And we have four big clusters. Um, so we have on one side the product readiness about the software uh, delivery quality, the testing phases, system performance and stability. We have the real system uh, readiness, where here we are looking at. Uh, the actors being ready, the operational readiness, this is more related to the procedures and processes to ensure that everything is in place. And last but not least, migration uh, readiness. You all know we will do a big bang migration uh, mid-November, so all the colleagues are putting their effort to ensure that everything will go smooth. So we have all this, this different phase, connectivity setup, pre-migration, preparation weekend, finally migration weekend. So all these uh, criteria, we monitor them on a regular basis, of course, uh, in order to assess at any time if uh, some action have to, to be put in, in place. Then looking at uh, the ECMS publication here, reminder from my side uh, that we have an ECMS professional use uh, web page in which you can find a lot of information. We have different kind of publication which are available. We have the info pack giving some uh, 
information about the CMS functionalities and some business processes. There is also a lot of information on the testing and migration activities with the bi-weekly testing condition documents, uh, which is published. We have information on the status, so we have codes, business rules, access rights, uh, U2A, U2A role, and uh, finally, uh, the summary of the previous uh, focus sessions, uh, as this is already the, the first one we are doing for, for the CMS. That was all from my side.